Hello there YouTubers, this is Baldrick here, just doing a feeble attempt at a review of a new toy that I have. It's the Pentax K7. Now, I'm not being a paparazzi here whatsoever. I'm just going to do a comparison between the two cameras that I do have. And I'll just inform you of the different things, different specs. This one is my old Pentax, Pentax MZ50. It's film, so it's very old. Um, and as most of you know, film is expensive now. So, I've upgraded and I've got the K7. The K7 is much heavier. Much heavier between the, the two. Um, but I'll get to that in the preview. Now, here's the sales pitch. And here we go. Here, this is the Pentax K7. It has a kit lens of 18 to 55mm uh, Pentax DA lens, which is a format used it's a format kind of lens and it's pretty good i like it when you buy it make sure you get a uv lens as well so that just it doesn't dust and fingerprints don't get onto your lens and destroy it i went out and got an optional sigma 70 to 300 mil uh, telephone lens now with this one it is compatible with the k7 which means the compatibility, you may wonder what is going on here. Newer lenses with the digital SLRs have automatic focus. If you've got an old one like this, this is a Sigma 100 to 300 mil lens. This is what I used on my Pentax MZ50. It won't, it's not, it, it will connect, it will connect to the body. You can still use it, just in manual mode, okay? Don't expect it to be going out to a, uh, sports things and auto focusing with an old lens it won't happen okay what else we have a 14.6 megapixel CMOS which is the little sensor inside that takes all the information from the light coming in through the lens and puts it onto your, the chip in here secondly or thirdly whichever one I'm up to it has a three centimeter uh, rear screen which is pretty good only problem is if you have a look here, with mine, it's got all fingerprints, which is, it's okay, but for some people that might be a no-go. See, that's simply because um, me holding the actual camera, my finger moves around a lot, so it's not too much of a hassle for me, because when you have a look at the screen, you actually don't even see it, see the... Uh, the fingerprints when you want to take the photos. While I'm on about the back, if I just zoom in for you just a little bit, you can have a look at some of the controls. There we go. They are the controls that you need to know. This little thing here, that is a, they call it the switcher, a switch. Um, that's for your exposures. On um, the setting I have it on that at the present moment, it is the aperture. That one is the aperture. The front one, which is on the other side, which I'll show a little bit later, is actually a, it would be the, I think it's the shutter speed. Yeah, it's the shutter speed. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> what else is there? Ah, this camera can do JPEG and RAW. Raw photos, it's R-A-W, raw photos, which is pretty cool. I am so used to doing JPEG, um, and I've been watching some YouTube things about raw photography, and I thought, well, I'll go out and I'll actually take some photos, um, which should be coming around back here, I reckon. Um, they're pretty good, uh, and I reckon I might stay with raw, cause, just because the JPEG ones, I, I, I don't get a chance to... Uh, change things around. So I would, for anyone out there, try RAW. The only problem is you'd need something like Photoshop or Lightroom or Aperture just to get it going. Uh, you put it on your computer, you won't see anything. All you see is a little icon to say it's an image of some sort, but Windows and Mac can't really see it. Okay, secondly, or fourthly, I think I'm up to four now. Don't know, don't care. White balance, have you ever gone out to a, an evening or to a conference and they've got those big tungsten lights. So like this light. 
what light would this be? This light is a, um, hell, uh, I think it's a tungsten. I don't know. It's a 40 watt one, whatever it is. <laughs> now, that emits a certain amount of light. And with a camera, camera can't really say, okay, I know what that one is. So, I used to go, I used to take photos and I think, why are they so yellow? For example, here, if I took a photo now, without changing the white balance on this thing, it will come out yellow. Possibly this photo is coming out a little bit yellow too. That's because this light is tungsten. And it's using a little filament, so it's pushing it all out and it's yellow. You can actually set it in here to say, okay, I'm going to be under a tungsten light. And what happens, it can change all the settings to the tungsten situation, which they think would be right for the computer, the photo. And you know what? The photos actually come out clear, really clear. There's no yellow whatsoever. It's as, it's as if they push back the yellow mark on all the photos. It's really cool. Okay, that's me wrapping up the sales pitch for the my review of the Pentax K7. I'll see you in a second.